I love decorating for Christmas, so today I'm going to show you five things that I do that can add cheer to your home. Follow me. This is our family tree and it's a big tree with the ornaments that mean the most to the kids. Some things that I really think are important when you're decorating your tree is when you have ornaments that are just kind of hanging on the outside like this, especially the big ones, it's nice to tuck them into the open spaces of the tree and it does create a bit of a layered look. Also, because it's a big tree, it's nice to have some larger ornaments and not just kind of clutter it with a bunch of small decor. So what I've done here is I've made um, a grouping of small ornaments and wired them together so it has the illusion of a larger ornament. Sometimes the larger ornaments can be hard to find. When decorating my Christmas tree, I like to think a little bit outside the box and add ornaments that aren't typically used on a Christmas tree. Like taking a feather boa and just cutting some little strips and putting it on the tree. It kind of looks like clumps of snow. I've got a Merry Christmas sign instead of a star. I've really nestled in some of the bigger ornaments like these snowflakes and the big baubles deep into the tree and layered stuff on top of it. That's really gonna give you a really full, interesting Christmas tree. So this is my fireplace mantle. Here I've created a more formal, asymmetrical look. I started with an artificial pre-lit garland which I put across the mantle. And then I added just a baking sheet with a block of florist foam. I've put that on the mantle to give a nice base where I can add the evergreens. Then it gave it height on this end. I finished it off with dried grass and some candles. The candles, again, I stayed heavy on the one side to give the asymmetrical look. And then I've added a few more lights with the angel hair lights. I'd like a little bit more sparkle, so I'm gonna add some baubles. Here's a quick idea. If your kids make gingerbread houses, you can just put them in jars and fill it with fake snow and it makes for a really cute display. One of the favorite Christmas decorations I have in my home is this advent calendar that I created for my kids. It's just simply twine and then I added the clothespins. You can fill them with whatever you want, small toys, stickers. I like to use leftover Halloween candy and it's just been a really fun decoration and also the kids love it and really when I have guests it's always a topic of conversation. It's just um, my favorite Christmas decoration and easy to make. You too can make an advent calendar just like this. I love wrapping a beautiful gift at Christmas time and typically I like to match the color of my wrapping to my decor and I usually concentrate more on the decor of the wrapping paper than the wrapping paper itself. The wrapping paper shown here is just simple craft paper, um, either brown and or white, um, but then I embellish it with the ribbon or other wrapping paper. Here I've just used a simple pom-pom ribbon, and then I've just used some other ribbons in different ways, and here what I did is just take um, another wrapping paper that has a message written across it and cut a strip and just add it a little bow. So it's just simple ways to make your presence just that extra special and it's really nice to receive a gift that is beautifully wrapped. There are a hundred different ways that you can decorate your home. So hopefully these five will give you some inspiration. Happy holidays. Thanks for watching.